Double honest to the apostles and the elders of great most on true well. Of course, salutations to all the elect out there, man. You are kim to Sadakim that do this thing in the most truth and sincerity. I'm the preacher Shaman, and this week's in transit is going to be entitled um, uh, U.S. Coup in Mexico for Lithium. Something to that lines. Um, it's been discovered that Bolivia no longer holds the title to the world's largest lithium reserve. That title now belongs to Mexico. Um, I believe his name is uh, Andres Obrador. They're trying to uh, stage a regime change because he held asylum for uh, Bolivia's president, all right? He's still a current president, Evo, Evo Morales, which he was taken out of power the moment he tried to nationalize his lithium and his natural oils, uh, natural gas, uh, for his country to benefit the country. And that and not and uh, not privatize it. That when that goes against the interests of multi-billion dollar corporations. Hence, uh, these corporations, all right, uh, they lo they have lobbyists that dictate uh, what the Congress here in the United States are going to uh, uh, vote on. That, you can watch how this politician game goes in a uh, series like House of Cards. It's all a bunch of manipulation and bribery, which is totally against the scriptures. The scriptures tell you when you judge. You're supposed to judge without having respect to persons. You shouldn't be taking any fucking purses, man. First of all, the United States doesn't have a right to dictate to what these other countries should and should not do. But, nonetheless, they're doing sanctions, which is a form of war against all countries that don't see the views the way the United States views it. Even their own allies, recently Turkey and Germany. Why Germany? Well, Germany wants to run a pipeline, all right, from Germany to Russia. And uh, as you've been, as you know, in Russia, the bear and the scriptures ultimately will go to war against America. What this is um, causing is um, other nations to circumvent uh, these sanctions by not using SWIFT, which is backed by the U.S. dollar. They're trying to find new, new different ways to trade. Um, if you want to think deep enough uh, in, in terms of the elites, this could be them. Um, I mean, if you if you look at it, if you look at it from their perspective, a way to collapse the U.S. dollar to for, to force other nations to go away from the dollar and form this new currency, which you know we believe is going to be a digital currency. All right, they're they're trying to avoid the U.S. dollar by buying up gold and buying up bitcoins, mining bitcoins. Bitcoins is a digital currency. All right, but going back to the topic at hand, yeah, the United States wants to control. Um, um, Mexico, you know, because again, anytime the United States does a coup in Latin America, Mexico tends to tend, tends to take the side of the democratically elected person, the person that was picked in there by the people, all right, but the U.S. allies in Latin America, such as Brazil, all right, who else, uh, Colombia, um, who else they got, they got Peru under their belt, whoever they have on their belt, they'll take the side of the person that the United States want to put in there in, in the form of a regime change. Nothing, this is just a modern day version of when you hear about the scripture speak about vassals, all right? Uh, prime example, Zedekiah was a vassal king for Nebuchadnezzar, right? Meaning you're a puppet king. So these things still exist, except in the ancient world where it was more direct, look, you're a vassal for this particular uh, monarchy. Uh, in this so uh, society, it's done... Um, covertly, all right, in the guise of, oh, we're trying to bring democracy, and it's easy for them to take you take you as a dictator. All they have to say is, look, we don't recognize you as the current president of this particular nation, and if they don't recognize you, uh, then they'll label you a dictator, all right, even if you were voted in by the people, all right, and along with that comes destruction. The scriptures tell you that Esau, so-called white man, and um, enlarges his desire is hell, meaning he cannot be satisfied. They want everything in their control and power. And with that comes death and hell, man. All right, look at what they did to places like Libya. Every time they regime change a place, Iraq, these different places, look at the aftermath of it. It's completely fucked up to the point that Evil Morales said, look, I don't even want the presidency because it, he knows it's going to lead to the death, all right, and destruction of his country. And 
possibly the end of his life. You know, this is just the reality of things. And this is how um, America has been run. Uh, this is how America dictates what's going on around the world because they're being the big bad bully. Which, of course, is fulfilling scripture when it says the nation shall hate, shall hate the whore. That whore that sitteth upon the beast is the United States which sit upon NATO and the EU dictating what and what they shouldn't and can't do. Yet, we see that these NATO nations, these EU nations, are even starting to hate the whore because... They're violating international law. The United States is violating international law, and these other nations are trying to uphold the certain agreements. Prime example, the Iran nuclear deal, aka the JCPOA, all right, which benefited the shit out of the United States, man, all right? And of course, you know, when you know the nature of the so-called white man, you can tell that treaty was never meant to be, um, that treaty was temporary. It was never meant to be fulfilled. In other words, it was set up from the beginning for them not to accept it, you know what I'm saying? And that's how a so-called white man does. He creates these uh, treaties that he, 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 he intentionally knows he won't keep, all right, in hopes that you will do what's contrary to the treaty as a provocation for them to go into war with Iran, all right? Because what? But Iran was two steps ahead of them because part of it was that Iran could not enrich its uh, re um, uh, was it, uh, uranium, all right, to nuclear levels, which it, it still didn't violate. They're still enriching, enriching their nuclear uh, source right now, but still not in violation of the JCPOA or the Iran nuclear deal, man. All right? Going back to the topic at hand, Mexico, um, Mexico, that would be big, man. That would be big if the United States gets a puppet in Mexico because they already got Canada in their back pocket. You know what I'm saying? They already got Canada in their back pocket. And they could use, um, of course... They plan to use... They can say anything. They can say ISIS is in Mexico. Don't be surprised if they say that. You know, it's my belief what they could use, too, is uh, use the cartels that they back. All right? When you, when you have a cartel in Latin America, best believe is CIA backed. The CIA runs the drug operations. All right? They make money off uh, lithium. They do things outside the quote-unquote constitution, outside United States law that they don't have to record. So they can use the CIA... Uh, they can use these drug cartels as a means um, to bring U.S. troops into, America, into Mexico because they are a terrorist organization, all right? That's what they label the cartel as a terrorist organization. And once you have a terrorist, once you have an enemy, then you can use that as a proxy to do whatever the fuck you want to do, man. And as Donald Trump said when they got rid of uh, Bolivia's president, he said, tell Nicaragua to watch out. And he also told... Um, Another Latin American nation. See, they want they want all of Latin America. All right, they want all of Latin America because they know that certain of these other Latin American countries that are rich in resources, natural resources, they could make trades with other powers that rival the United States. All right, i.e., Bolivia making trades with China for the lithium. So it's, it's not so much about really caring about what the Latin American countries are doing. It's about stealing the resources and. Not making the second superpower, whether it be China, Russia, um, usurp the number one spot from the United States, man. You know? And these different uh, tactics, such as cartels and the FDA, that's a major one. When the FDA comes to Latin America, trust, trust and believe. All right, that's that's used as a as a uh, instrument to destabilize these Latin American countries, and of course, the mass media over here in America is totally controlled. You know, CNN, Fox News, they could spin it how they wanted to spin it. It was about uh, 50 years ago. The different media's, the different media companies, were owned by 50 different companies. You know, now all the major companies are only down to five. And as Rick Sanchez says, as Rick Sanchez from RT said, when he thinks of five, he thinks of four, three, two, one. In other words, he's saying, you know, as time comes, all these companies are only going to be owned by one power. Just like they're showing these uh, movies, 1984 and stuff, where everything was dictated and controlled by one media. They want one media, one currency, one government. They want one everything. Damn near one religion. They want one everything. And this concept of the world being under one world order is nothing new. All right? This is nothing new. Going back to Nimrod, when they said, let, you know, when they formed the Tower of Babel, 
it said let the world be one that wasn't everybody everybody wasn't a part of that back then in the ancient world not everybody was saying not every single human being was saying yeah let's all be one that was the elite of that time saying that same shit that they're saying today it was the elite people that were in power that came up with that same concept back then when it said let's all be one Nimrod and other and the other elite powers back then the people didn't want like the people don't want to do it now all right the people don't want to be on the one government want everything people want their own independent sovereignty yet that spirit that one world order spirit is an actual spirit man all right it's an actual spirit and there's nothing wrong with that spirit if it's be done in righteousness because Yahweh Shai's kingdom is going to be a one world dictatorship as they would call it and that word tyrant is not a bad world but that's what our Lord is going to be all right there's going to be a structure and that there's not going to be a structure where you vote or none of that stuff, man, all right? There's going to be a complete monarchy, meaning one ruler, all right? The Most High, Yahweh Shai, King David, the 12, all right? The 144,000, and there's not going to be any debate. We're not going to be, let's, you know, there's not going to be a Senate and these types of bullshit. No, it's going to be a true rulership, and that one world order spirit is a spirit that's never going to dissipate, man. Look at all the nations before the ones that stood here. The Persian Empire, the Babylonian Empire, the Assyrian Empire, the Akkadian Empire, the Sumerians, all right, the Egyptians. There was always a need to conquest and have everything under your subjection. That's a spirit that's in the mind of a king, primarily a young king. A young king, uh, when you look at all these ancient world wars, when men go on conquest, they were normally young. Older kings don't really go on conquest. You know, they want to sit back and enjoy. But a young man in his vigor, as you read in the scriptures, they want to go dominate and rule the world. So that same spirit being used on the left-hand side, right, by the Rothschild elites, is in this world today to the point that all these nations want a new world order. The very elites of them, it's just who's going to be the head of this new world order. All right, the Russians are no different than the uh, Edomites over here in America, man. And you have crypto Edomites scattered amongst the Saudi Arabians and the Chinese and these different other countries that have that same spirit and want to unite with each other and dominate the world. Yet, they're divided, even down to the Rothschilds that are divided. As the Lord tells us, a kingdom divided amongst itself shall not stand. What happened to Israel? What made Israel fall? We were divided. Okay? So ultimately, this one world order pursuant to the book of Job, the moment you put, you're about to put your capstone on it, like think about going on lunch at 12 o'clock and it's 11.59 and some crazy shit happen. And you don't get to get your lunch at 12. That's the same thing. The Mosai, the Mosai said as soon as you're about to fool your belly, as soon as you're about to think you're about to put your cap on it after this third world war. All right? Because there's going to be a third world war and a lot of nations are going to be destroyed. Primarily America, Israel and these other major cities scattered up throughout, throughout the world are going to be destroyed. The moment they're coming out their bunkers, the moment they're coming out their space station, the moment they're about to say, we're about to heap up all this gold and control the remaining population that survived this nuclear holocaust, if you will, you're going to be in motherfucking streets, man, according to the scriptures. And I know I just curse, so-called, and I know that there's hard censorship going on, proving that we're moving more, more further and further towards a totalitarian uh, dictatorship uh, society, which we're already in pretty much. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter where you go to, YouTube, bitch shoot. You see all these other uh, independent source media people, all right? They're getting deep platform, man, to the point that they're deleting their PayPal accounts for, for the moment you speak about these so called Jews, these so called Zionists, so called Edomites. You let them know that they're, they're real world in the Bible, all right? The fact that they don't hold stake to the claim of um, that land over there, then you're going to be deleted. And. The reason I really don't give two fucks, because at the end of the day, it's the most side. You can delete every single channel. All you're doing is fulfilling prophecies, Amos 8 and 11, and the most side created the wicked for the day, day of evil, man. This word is going to hit where it wants to hit, and don't be surprised when it gets more and more scarce. It has to. That has to happen. That's why the scripture says, a man shall be more precious than fine gold. It's not talking about every single man out here, man. But soon to the book of 1 Samuel, the third chapter, and the first verse, the word of the Lord was precious in those days when Samuel stepped on the scene. All right? Because what the book of Proverbs says, well, there's no open vision that people perish. 
So when the time comes when you're not seeing us and this world completely is blocked off the internet and all this type of stuff, and there's no provision, a lot of people are going to get a parish because they're not going to be stable. Because they're not going to have wisdom, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. So that was a quick lesson on what's going on, man. Um, hey, if they put a new puppet there in Mexico, so be it, man. So be it. Who can, who, you know, our idea is just keep rolling along, man. Keep rolling along. Keep us trying to establish a new world order. Keep trying to push out your microchip, which is the mark of the beast. Which no one watching this video should take. Because if you take that pursuant to the book of Revelation 14 and 5. Yes, the mark of the beast is the RFID microchip. Then your part in this thing of the most I created is that of destruction, fire, nuclear missiles. You cannot make it on a chariot or the so-called white man called UFOs if you take the RFID microchip. With that, I hope, brothers, and whoever come across this video it was edified. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, and double honors to the apostles and the elders, the great mills, and which you well. Salutations to the whole for the elect out there. Watch the luck, Rayam. I call out of one yam or two thirds, and those that come against this video and try to flag it. Shalom.